Howdy, howdy. Okay, I said I'd be back. And this is what I'm going to show you. How cute is that? I think that's so cute. You could do it any way you want to. Okay. Um, now, basically, I went on to um, Google. And, you know, this is just a small glass as well. This is the only one of our... Uh, crystal that we've got left because I always break them um, I went on to Google and I just put in wine glass shade and templates and then up comes a loads of templates so you can then choose which template you want to use for your glasses and obviously the bigger the glass then you're just gonna have to experiment a little bit and test out sizes etc so then I've cut mine out of card and then obviously I've drawn around some paper it, that was I got two out of a 12 by 12 but I could probably if I had a little play about with it I could probably see which um, which ways to do them and obviously I've cut this one out already because you don't want to see me cutting um, so basically that is your shape for your lampshade then what we're going to do is pop your, get your tape, in fact before, even before that it's easier to distress the edges if you want to do that or if you have, now I've tried it with a, a punch but I can't quite get the um, decorative, like the because it's a curve. Um, the punch I have, I'm going to have a play about, is this one from Do Crafts, X Cup from Do Crafts, and it um, does ovals and squares and all sorts of things. I just need to have a little practice with that to see how I can get the whole thing. Um, I haven't tried with the Martha Stewart punches yet. Like I say, I've only just sort of got this. So that's your main thing I mean obviously any paper this is just a real thin paper so it's a good way of using up papers that you don't necessarily um, want to use in your scrapbooking or altered art projects or anything like that so I'm now just going to go around the edges and you know I mean you could even do some faux stitching around the edges if you wanted to make it look a little bit more um, rustic you could even make them out fabric if you wanted to um, vellum you could pop vellum on there you could you know and just do some let's see if I've got, I've got anything dark oh, I might as well use the uh, stay there there you could probably do some parchment work around your vellum as well so then it would then look like lace um, so there is a whole amount of things you could do um you know and these these lampshades aren't just for christmas you know peeps oh no 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 you could use these for the for a wedding you could have um, instead of having place names you could put these over the glasses and have their name on there all sorts of things so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pop my tape okay along the edge there. I do apologise about my nails as well. I've got a masquerade ball in a couple of weeks and I'm trying to hold off getting them done until then. Then you can line it up. Oops. Like so. I mean if you've got a little bit that crosses off there then just grab yourself a pair of scissors and then round her off like that then you've got your basic shape so if I just take that one off there you know like I say depending on the size of glass that you have you know I mean you could even do like a little bow at the bo bottom of the of the glass there it's great for parties so then if you take that off then depending on what color ribbon you have at the bottom you then know what color what glass is yours so we've got that there now I'm just going to get one of my um, 
rosettes that I made. Get a blob of glue. It's just a very quick tutorial. And like I say, if you just go onto Google and just in the images you'll find all sorts of templates. Okay. And then there we have it. That's your lampshade you could put um, lace down the bottom. The only thing I will say is if you're going to put in a, I should just go and get one. Not very prepared, am I? Oh, great. The one that I picked doesn't work. Nope, doesn't work. You can also pop in, hit the lights, hit the lights, and pop that in there, and then you've got yourself a nice, in fact that's quite nice, because with the crystal glass there it sort of shows through the paper. The only thing I would say is I would use these ones that are, um, I wouldn't necessarily use, I know it's glass, I wouldn't necessarily use a flame, just because of the paper around the top that's all i'm saying i personally wouldn't use an actual flame i would use one of these that is as simple as it can be you know you make it as hard or as simple as you want so there was that one and you can do them all to match your table and things and this one here i've actually put a t on because then that would be Tom's glass. So, I hope that was good. And I'd like to see your take on it. Keep crafting!